What's going on, everyone? The Dip Consultant back at it, packing fat lips and sucking big old girl titties. Yeah. I'm dipping on Grizzly Long Cut Wintergreen today. So, last night's live stream was freaking crazy. Absolutely bananas. I saw a lot of people come in there, give the channel love. You guys were supporting me. You guys were proud of me, you know, for being able to play chess. And and I had fun. I had fun with it. I absolutely 100% loved it. Now, I do want to make a quick uh, apology um, that if I did not read your comments or I was not paying attention to you or I did not answer any of your questions, I'm sorry, it was probably because I was deadlocked onto playing chess and I didn't um, really pay attention to you because I was trying to play and that was uh, my fault and I should be better at it multitasking but when it comes to chess sometimes multitasking is not a good thing to do while you're playing chess because multitasking sometimes can cause problems for you to be disrupted and you might make a blunder or a bad move or whatever. So, I was kind of in the zone. Not the out, not the other zone. Not sponsored door and door, but the other zone. But I did see a few comments that I kind of was, you know, one over here, one over here, one over here, whoop, right there. And I picked a few out. And I wanted to answer them. And I think it is my due diligence to answer some of your all questions. And by all means, I think we need to. So, the first question I got last night was, um, do I think that I ever want to be a Grand Master? So, or have the title Grand Master? So, that being said, the title of Grand Master comes with a shit ton of responsibilities. I mean, like, a lot. You're basically, at that point, Mr. or Mrs. Popular, right? Everybody's going to look up to you. You're expected to be in the general's eye every day, almost, thereabout. They probably have a lot of expectations out of a Grand Master that um, many Grand Masters have to go through. Like, they have to go through a certain ELO. They have um, just all these other little things that they got to go through. And it's just the loops and hoops and just all these things that you have to jump through in order to be Grand Master or have the title Grandmaster or GM. And, yeah, I've thought about it. I thought, you know, one day I will want to be a GM. But, honestly, being GM isn't what it, you know, it, it to me, it's not about being a GM. It's about being good at chess in general. I prefer to to play chess the way that it should be played. Yes, I do um, play chess, but not on a level that, like, a Grandmaster would always play. Because Grandmasters are very, very sufficient at knowing a lot of things. And I have a lot to learn. In chess, you can learn a lot. As you continue to play, you always learn. That's the thing about chess. It's like a building block for your brain. Your brain is developing different notations on the board. And remembering the moves always is the key importance. Sometimes I remember a certain move. Sometimes I'll forget. Oh, shit. If somebody plays, for instance, a Carl Kahn, how do I block the Carl Kahn? Or if somebody gets into a Queen's Gambit... You know, how do you do a Queen's Gambit denied? That kind of stuff. I'm not always remembering those moves, always, but I try my best. 
But being a grandmaster, you got to remember your notation. You got to remember to do that. You got to stay on top of it every time. It would be fun to be a grandmaster, international master, but at this point, I just, you know, I feel like I like to play chess the way that chess should be played. Fun, um, not taking it too, yes, you got to take it seriously, but not taking losses so seriously. I, I've, I've had a couple after I, um... I've played many times, and I've had a couple of losses, and I know that it's to be expected. But Grandmasters are expected somewhat to kind of be more in the zone of winning more than they lose more. Somebody asked me, Romeo, um, what would it take to, to be a Grandmaster? And I saw that comment, and I thought, oh, gosh. Um, it takes a lot of knowledge. You got to remember a lot of things. Like I just said, you got to remember the board. You got to remember your openings. You got to remember how to keep that opening going. You got to just keep on a roll with a good opening, good middle game, and a good end game. You got to have those three components to in order to be a very good GM or even an international master at that point. And I saw somebody say, Romeo, what was your ELO? So my ELO is 2600 or 2650 right now. Um, I'm getting up there to the 300s, almost there about into the 300 range. Uh, I haven't really to the range that I would like to be, but I, I'm going to get up there. Um, the 300s or up to like where Magnus Carlsen is, you know, maybe not the 300s, but right up to like where Magnus Carlsen is, I would love to get up into that range of ELO level, but right now my ELO is 2650 and I'm, I'm kind of comfortable right where I'm at right now. Because it's not, for me, I don't feel like that's a, for me, a Grandmaster level for me. Um, to everybody else, it may be. Yeah, that may be like a Grandmaster high level rank shit. But for me, I feel like I'm not that type of level of skill yet. Um, I... I do appreciate all y'all's comments. <sighs> I do appreciate you all talking to me and telling me, hey, I'm here. I'm going to support you. We got a lot of support. Um, somebody did ask one time, why did I keep using the Queen's Gambit a couple of times? And that's actually a very good comment. Because, one, the Queen's Gambit is a good move. It it really does damage if somebody does not know that a Queen's Gambit move can be deadly. If you keep your good opening, you keep your good middle game, and then you got a good end game, the Queen's Gambit could be the worst move that your opponent falls into. And, you know... We're, we're not doing a whole lot of spectacular moves, in my opinion. The Queen's Gambit has been played multiple times, probably, gosh, probably over a bazillion times in chess by many people. Even Grandmasters have played the Queen's Gambit so many freaking times, where it's just like, it's a move that is... Something that chess players that know about it and know how to use it are aware of it. And they are well aware of the damage that can come from it if you are not prepared. Um, 
what is the Sicilian? So how do you do the Sicilian? So the Sicilian is a very easy opening. So let's say somebody starts with a queen opening. And you take your pawn in front of your knight on, right over on this side of the square. On the right side of your square, you move up your pawn one. That's a Sicilian. It's another deadly move that if you have it with a good opening and you keep that middle game going and then you can end that game quickly like that, the Sicilian can be stupid deadly. It just wipes your opponent off if your opponent is not aware of what you can do and the attacks that you can um, put in front of them and all of the threats that will go in front of them. If they're not aware of it, they're done. How long have I been playing chess? So I've been playing chess off and on as a kid. I, I did take chess class. I sucked at it. Not going to lie. The one thing that I really did like about chess class was that I got to play against different people, right? And those people were good. Like, really, really freaking good. And I quit playing chess for a while. I I would play chess off and on after a while during my teen years somewhat. I wasn't good and I will always admit I am never really good at it, but I will do my best, my hardest to have a good opening, good middle game, good end game, and keep that going and rolling. Ugh. Somebody also in the comments asked me, um, why aren't you a GM? Because it seems like you have a lot of thoughts like a grandmaster. You think when you're playing chess like a grandmaster. So, I love this compliment, and I thank you for whoever wrote that, because that was the greatest compliment that I could ever receive, that y'all think that I do play somewhat like a GM, and I think like a Grandmaster on the board. Um, I, I think like a GM, maybe in your mind, because I, I think logically about, like, not only what I want, but what my opponent wants, so if my opponent's looking for a pawn, a knight, a rook, a queen. I try to calculate, okay, if I go here, what will this do? What will they do maybe next? Um, it's all about calculation. If you calculate in your mind, this goes here, they take, I take back, they take, I take back. You can get to that <sighs> sort of mentality, if you will. That very good mentality of making sure that you are 100% putting your mind into that game. If you think like that, that's not really just thinking like a grandmaster, more or less. That's just more like you're thinking like an actual chess player in general. Even off the computer, when you're just playing strictly on the board, you got to think the same way. It's no different than when you're playing on the computer, as if you're playing on the board. Yes, there's a bigger difference. You're playing other people online. But when you're playing on the board, it's kind of the same way. You want to think about what does your opponent want? What, if, what is the best move? What do I got to protect? What do I got to defend? What can I take? What if my opponent got hanging that I can grab? That's an easy, quick grab and run away or further my position forward into their territory. If you think like that, that means you are getting better. You are starting to understand chess more. You're understanding that chess isn't just um, simple. 
there is a lot of thought process. So, you guys, I appreciate all of you that came in last night. We're going to do chess again. But, for right now, um, yeah, hope you all have a good day. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I'll see you guys and gals later. Don't forget to uh, castle. And don't forget to pack fat lips. See y'all.